And so social media creates a standard of what we should have in life. We should want to travel. We should have this house. We should want this Ferrari. Women, a lot of times, their, their relationship really focuses on acquiring power. And it can be materialistic in a sense. Men look at women that are AI generated. They have edits, they have filters. Real women don't look like the women you see on social media. And so their standard of what sexuality is, their primary focus becomes very unrealistic. And they want a woman that does this and they watch pornography, which 90% of porn has some kind of violent behavior. You know, it has you hooking up with the office assistant. You know, there's a, there's a, joke if, if you know for all the guys in the community there's like stepbrother i'm stuck you know and it's literally like a woman that's stuck in like a dryer or something like that and the guy just takes advantage of it it's literally rape and so you have these guys that want this power dynamic of submit to me and be this way and women are no, now more able to do anything and they don't want to submit and you have where now the genders are, are fighting so relationships are at a 55 percent rate of failure with with marriage 15 percent results in separation which is pretty much like divorce in a sense, but it's just a legal way of getting back whenever you want to. And then you have seven to eight percent of marriages that don't divorce because they just don't believe in it. So you only have about a 22% success rate. And in that 22% success rate, there's a spectrum of I'm really happy and then I'm kind of satisfied and I'm okay. And the really happy people are about five to ten percent. So I think marriage in itself is a wonderful thing. I think that people coming together is a wonderful thing if it works, but a lot of that is starting to decline.